Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul and um, a few things that I picked up at Walmart. So um, I got these uh, Werther's Original Harvest Caramel Pumpkin Spiced Soft Caramels. I've never seen these before, so I wanted to try them out. So I might try them out now. They're very soft, but I don't really, I don't really taste any pumpkin spice, so, yeah. Yeah, mom doesn't taste any either, so. They're still good caramels, but I don't, I don't really taste any um pumpkin spice, anything. Then I have these Trolley Sour Bright Crawler Watermelon Flavor. Those are going to be good, I know that. Trolley candies usually are. And then I got this basket full of stuff, but I'll get to that in a minute. And I, I picked up some moon pies. Mom's excited, apparently. Then I got, what are these? These are from Heidi Swap. I'm not, I have no idea who she is. These are a bunch of like, transfer like clear transfer uh sayings uh adv adventure seeker hello sunshine hi let's go you are here and the good life so i thought that'd be kind of cool to put on like um you know the uh, picture um put on the glass uh, on a picture frame make your own like little decor so it's the only one that I saw so I've never seen anybody else haul that so eh. then I got this um little picture it says mocha and has a cup of coffee and there's my cat milkshake because he wanted to see what I was doing then I found this three pack of Cape Cod Kettle cooked potato chips. They're like the personal bag size. He is so curious. <laughs> Milkshake. Then I got these lace stacks. This is the bacon and cheddar potato skin uh, potato chip flavor chips. And then I got this. I saw just Nina haul this. This is the stop. This is the uh, breakfast sandwich, the peanut butter. She says they're good, so I'll give it a try. I mean, how, what am I going to lose? It was a dollar, so. Anyway, I think that's all the food stuff, so we'll get into what's in the little wicker ba uh, basket. Then I got this Frozen 2 puzzle. It's a 500-piece count. It has Elsa, and it says, Be brave, be free, and be you. So I thought that was cute. I'm going to put that together eventually. Then I have this uh, little wicker basket. Well, it's not wicker. Real wicker, but it's made to look like wicker. I thought it was cute. I like little organizational buckets. Pick that up. And then I found this, um, disp this pump dispenser where you put the you know, the cotton pad on top and pump it like this. And the stuff will come up, whatever you put in there. Now all my cats want to see what I'm doing. Anyway. I got the Sassy and Chic BB Beauty Benefit Cream in Light 1. Oh, I see why. Morris wants to see if he can fit in the basket. Anyway, we were talking about this Sassy and Chic BB Beauty Benefit Cream in the shade light one. Hold on a second. They're just like little bratty kids. Hold on a second. Okay, I forgot about these little magnets that were in the bottom of my, my little bucket. Um, they are so freaking cute. I couldn't pass them up. This one is says so excited. Look at the little happy egg. <laughs> and this one is butter together. 
pancake and butter. Just beat it and say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Thought those are cute. Okay. Now let's get on to the makeup stuff. From uh, Remy Rose, this is the uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Ariana. I'll do swatches for you too, so. I got this LA Colors Auto Eyeliner in the shade Cobalt Blue. I usually don't do eyeliner, but I want to I wanna try them. This is the LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse. This one is in the shade Whipped. Then I found <clears throat> some waterproof liquid eyeliner. Um, this is from Jessie's Girl. I thought that was cool. I think that's a, is that brown? Dark brown. I don't know. I'll play with it. Practice. I haven't used eyeliner in forever since I was in junior high. Even then, I don't think I knew how to apply it right. This one's the LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse. This one's in the shade Souffle. Yeah. Looks like a kind of a pumpkin y type color. Hold on a second. I need to adjust my lighting. Okay, that's a little bit better. And I have this, uh, this lip gloss in the shade Blakely from Remy Rose. Then I have LA Colors Auto Eyeliner in the shade Bright White. Because they say white eyeliner helps make you look less tired. I don't know. Then I have this LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse in the shade Silky. I have the LA Color Setting Spray. Love it. I think you can refill those, but I'm not sure. This is the Velvet Lip Mousse in the shade Rhapsody from LA Colors. Then I got the Sassy and Chic Jade Facial Roller that everyone was hauling last year. My Dollar Tree finally got some. <clears throat> Told you they were kind of slow. Then I have the LA Colors Auto Eyeliner. This one is in the shade Lovely Lavender. I only found one Flower Beauty thing. This is the Eyes on the Prize Eyeshadow Chubby in the shade Teal We Meet Again. That's so cute. Then I've got this LA Colors Auto Eyeliner in Midnight Black, so it's just a black. Then I have this Remy Rose Liquid Lipstick in Brandy. Then I have the Sassy and Chic Moisturizing Foundation in Light One. Hopefully that those are a match for me. And then I have this Every Beauty. I don't know. This is a makeup brush drying rack that I've seen other people um, have hauled. So that was a cool find. I think that's my that's my best find thus far at Dollar Tree. So that's my Dollar Tree part of this. And I'll show you what I got at Walmart. So hold on a second. Okay. I got, um, I'll do swatches. Don't worry. I'll, I'll do it at the end. This is the Aveeno Repairing Sika Hand Mask and the Aveeno Repairing Sika Foot Mask. I know Aveeno is not cruelty free, but I love these things, so yeah. Then I got this Old Spice Wolf Thorn. Old Spice deodorant just seems to work well for me. I've tried the Dr. Teal's Natural Deodorant. I've tried... The Secret Natural Deodorant, I've tried 
Um, the uh, Axe natural deodorant. And I think I've tried Schmidt's? No. Jason's natural deodorant. Uh, and I've tried um, uh, another different one, but they don't work for me. Old Spice does. The regular Secret does. Degree does. By, um, oh, I've tried, um, oh, what's that one called? Everybody likes it. Um, it's like $12. It's really expensive. Uh, native. I've tried native and that one's okay. Um, but I think I'll just stick with Old Spice. I know it's not cruelty free, but my body is like laughs at cruelty free natural deodorant. It just like it doesn't do anything for me. But anyway, enough about that. They have a bunch of new um, stuff for the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe line that they're doing. So I'm really excited about that. Oh my God, stop messaging me. Um, this is the Hard Candy and Marilyn Monroe. Beauty Sleep Prep Mask uh, in Strawberry Water. So that looks cool. Why is this not focusing? That was... I want to say $6.97. Um, the palette I think is really pretty. It doesn't really do it. This lighting is really crappy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm in my kitchen. This is the hard candy. It's called Silver Screen, number 2066 eyeshadow palette. It's got um It's got a highlighter and a looks like a blush. This looks cute. This was like five something, five or six. Then they had this hard candy strawberry jelly cleanser and makeup remover. That was cool. And I do have some of the balms, but I didn't have this one. This is the hard candy lip balm in refreshing mint. And then they have lipsticks now. I don't think they had lipsticks before uh, the, f the first wave of stuff. This is the Hard Candy Satin Lipstick in the shade Nude. Is that... Really? Oh, okay. Anyway, I think the packaging is pretty. Look at that little rose on there. I'm just a Marilyn Monroe fan. I mean, I probably will keep all the packaging just because it's Marilyn. But anyway, let's get into swatches. Now that I took um, those out of the um, cartons, you can see the Marilyn lipstick a little bit better. Well, this is the balm, I mean, but I really like the packaging on this. It's pretty. It's just a lip balm, so it has no color. And look at this. It's so pretty. Okay, let's just start with that. Oh, before I do that, this is glass, so that's really nice. I mean... For something that's like $7 with a nice, really thick glass jar, that's really nice. Hard Candy really knocked it out of the park with the packaging on the Maryland collection. I'm really impressed. Okay, so we're going to uh, swatch this row first. Um, let's see. We have Iconic, Leading Lady, and Caviar. So I'll do those. I'll do, as you can see, do this row first. So that's that row. Hmm. 
So we'll do the print on the back, so I'm sorry, this one. The highlighter is called Spotlight and the blush is called Box Office. So we'll do that one next. You can barely see the blush. The highlighter is okay. So. And the last row is uh, white dress, girl's best friend, and pinup. So it'll be this row here. So that's the last row. White dress, um, white dress, girl's best friend, and pinup. Those seem to. Sorry, the lighting in here is just crap. Those seem to work a little bit better than the other side. So, this is okay. I mean, I just only did swatches. They might perform better on the eyes, so. Because Hard Candy does have a pretty good formula. So, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's a cute little palette. Let's move on to the lipsticks. Okay. Uh, from uh, top to bottom, top is Ariana, the middle is um, Brandy, and the last uh, one is Blakely, and those are all from Remy Rose from the Dollar Tree. Okay, the blue is the Flower Beauty uh, Chubby Eye Stick. And the lipstick, the the nude lipstick is the Marilyn Monroe lipstick. Okay, and then these are the swatches of the LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse. Um, first one is Silky, if they're from top to bottom again. First one is Silky. Uh, next one is Whipped. Next one is Rhapsody. God dang, this, this is terrible. Rhapsody, and the last one is Souffle. They're all very pretty. This lighting in here is not giving it justice, so I'm sorry, you guys. Anyway, um, that is my haul from Dollar Tree and a little bit from Walmart. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like Dollar Tree and Walmart hauls. Subscribe if you have not. We'd love for you to join the fam. And click that bell if you'd like more notifications from me, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.